Welcome back to Sleep Better TV. We continue our discussion with Dr. Nick Meyer, who practices with Millennium Dental Associates in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, Dr. Meyer, it's good to see you again. Welcome back. Let's talk about the, the various kinds of ozone therapy that uh, your practice provides. Ozone has been used in industry as a, as a disinfectant for a lot of years. It's used in swimming pools for disinfection instead of chlorine. It's also used in medicine. Medicine has used uh, ozone for decades, and most of it has occurred outside of the United States. There are countries where ozone is one of the primary forms of treatment for a wide variety of diseases, and it's only more recently in, the, say, the last 10 or 15 years that ozone has become more uh, uh, available, more widespread in the United States through the work of, of um, practitioners trying to get the word out to practitioners like me that is a wonderful treatment tool. So what do we use ozone for? Ozone is used for many things in a, in a dental practice. Uh, you can use it for, for instance, sterilizing a tooth. After the filling material has been removed from a tooth prior to putting a new filling into the tooth, you can sterilize and disinfect the surface of the tooth. If a tooth hasn't had a filling in it, or you're just taking a, a, the decay out of a tooth, you can clean the decay out of the tooth, flood the tooth with ozone gas, and then put the filling in. You're assuring yourself that you have a very clean, sterile uh, tooth that is now going to be able to receive a very nice restoration without fear of having leftover bacteria that are inside the tubules of the tooth. Some of the things that the ozone is also used for is, I mentioned it's good for disinfection. It can be used as a surface disinfection disinfectant for instance, of your countertops. It's used also in, uh, the, we, we bubble ozone gas into water, so we create ozonated water. We use that now as an irrigant in our surgeries, so that after we do whatever procedure we're doing, or during we even, we have a, a nice disinfectant, very natural, very rapidly dissipating, that we, we wash the surgical site with sterile saline that's been ozonated, Ozone is also used in gum disease treatment. We can use the same type of concept. We uh, can ozonate the water, do ozonate the water, put it into our little instruments so that when the, the um, ultrasonic scalers are being used, that is carrying ozonated water down into the uh, gum tissue area and giving you a one-two punch. You're not only getting uh, disruptive, disrupting the uh, biofilm and the tartar materials with the ultrasonic action, but the ozone is also now able to disinfect the area as long as you're inducing, introducing the gas into the, through the, into the tissue through the liquid. I mentioned about the gas, another technique about gum disease and the treatment of gum problems that people have are using ozone gas in a specially set of, designed set of trays which are made customized for an individual. The ozone gas can be put into one port that's on one side of the mouth and an, an exhaust port on the other side of the mouth so that the gas is just infiltrating and going through all around all the surfaces of the teeth as well as in, um, bathing the gum tissue with ozone gas and which is a very good nourishing form of oxygen and killing bacteria. So those are two wonderful uh, uses periodontally. It's also used uh, very effectively for uh, chronic pain of many, many different kinds. Pain is one of the body's cry for low energy or low voltage. One of the benefits of giving oxygen directly to an area is you're giving high voltage to an area. Uh, that area, say, is a, an area of the jaw right here where you might have some, some pain. You can't discover the, the reason why you have it. Pain, again, is a symptom of the body's need for energy in an area. Oxygen in the form of O3 is highly energized so you can bring good voltage into the area and that will make the pain go away. Now it's up to us then, and this is part of the art of medicine and dentistry, how much is enough? It's been found um, empirically by me that we need to have one or two and sometimes three different in series of injections. It takes only a few minutes per injection, but you can have the pain that you've been wandering around with for potentially years, disappear very rapidly. You've, uh, we've seen uh, 60, 70, 80% resolution of pain 
after just one treatment, which is just amazing. So, and it's safe, it's, um, there's no downside to it for almost everybody. Another aspect in use of ozone, which I'm very excited about, is um, in the area of temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. Again, those are areas that people have a lot of pain. Sometimes it's acute problems, other times it's chronic problems. But ozone is beneficial for direct infusion of the ozone gas right into the joint. Again, you're bringing a, a, a nice amount of energy into the joint that can eliminate uh, some of the pain that may have been uh, part and parcel to the whole TMJ problem. Another benefit is there's a, a technique which is in, me in medicine, particularly integrated medicine, called prolozone or prolotherapy with ozone as a way to tighten up ligaments. And part of the problems with people with TMJ problems or jaw problems is that the ligaments have gotten loosened. Well, this technique can cause a loose ligament which causes uh, the clicking and the popping of the jaw joint can be infused into the joint and the ligament then over a period of not weeks and months but just days will start to tighten pulling back into position where it needs to be and eliminating and establishing eliminating pain and establishing a better balance and harmony within the capsule and the jaw so that things can start to work normal. As a footnote to that it's been identified that many of the jaw problems that people seem to have can be in part due to um, uh, viruses that find their way into the temporal mandibular joint itself. Well, we have viruses in almost every part of our body. Why should it seem so odd that we can't get a virus into our joint and be responsible for pain, which is some maybe why we see TMJ problems as episodic. They come and they go. Well, cold sores come and go. Canker sores come and go. So many things can come and go depending on how our immune system is going. So the use of temporal mandibular joint injections with ozone is a fantastic treatment. A couple other uses of ozone, it's just on, it's on the borderline of dentistry and medicine certainly, but it's the use of putting, uh, taking some of your own blood and infusing the blood with ozone and then injecting the blood back into you. That is called uh, autohemotherapy. So the ozone that we have is medical grade ozone. It's, it's not a very difficult thing to, to treat somebody with an infection, for instance, uh, that is unknown uh, by placing the ozone into the blood and then reinfusing it back into your body. And that is a wonderful way of getting the components and the byproducts of the, the direct ozone gas into your body that are termed ozonides, and those are the things which do the, the work to help lift your whole body's well-being so that you're going to feel better in a lot shorter period of time. So there's so many different wonderful uses of ozone. It's really just up to the uh, imagination of the practitioner of uh, what we can use ozone for. And Dr. Meyer, how did you start using uh, ozone in your practice? Last year in 2013, I became a fellow of the American Academy of Ozone Therapy. What that was about was my interest in ozone and bringing a new technique and therapy into the practice for the benefit of those coming for care because it's another tool that I have in my tool belt so that I can help those that suffer from all kinds of different chronic pains or acute pains that are, that are available. Now, with that, the use of ozone in medicine and dentistry is still relatively new and it has some mystique and I can answer more questions about that when you come into the practice. Great doctor, thank you. My guest is Dr. Nick Meyer with Millennium Dental Associates in Scottsdale, Arizona. You're watching Sleep Better TV.